Happy birthday, Sam. What's this? This is the best gift a mother can give to you, son. It's the truth. She's been messing with your head for three years. She's infertile. Where did you get this? My friend Meredith, she works at the hospital. But why tell me all of this on my birthday? I had to. You never listen to me when it comes to your wife. All I want for you is to be happy and to celebrate your next birthday as a new father. And I could finally be a happy grandma. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Stop it. How could you? John! What's wrong with him? Oh, I don't know, honey. I really don't know. Three years. Three years we've been trying to have a baby. It's not the end of the world, man. You can always adopt. That's not the point. She's been lying to me all this time. Maybe she was scared. Didn't want to lose you. Hmm? Then the plan failed. Because... Because we're done. Relax. Man, relax. It's your birthday. Take your mind off it. No. This isn't the right time. That's exactly what you need. She's been staring at you like 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. Hey. Hi. Why are you so sad? Uh, it's my friend's birthday and his guests didn't come. Oh, happy birthday. I'm just sorry I don't have a gift for you. Your company is a gift. <gasps> right? Come on, let's have a party. Yeah. Yeah. Mark, I don't know. Come on. My best friend shouldn't be sad on a day like this. Hmm? Cheers. Cheers. So come on in. Oh. <laughs> this is my layer aka party house. Make yourself at home. Thank you. What's all this for? Because you need a distraction, man. I won't do that, man. I don't even know her name. Fair enough. What is your name, beautiful? Jane. Jane. <laughs> Jane. <laughs> now you know it. So, go to her and I will leave you to alone. Right. Let's go. Well, Jane. Thank you. Where's John? I... I don't know. Don't lie to me. He definitely did Alice, Alice, it's not the right time. <laughs> yeah. Um... Wait, wait! <laughs> All more guests. I was hoping it would be just two of us. <clears throat> Do you want to explain yourself? No, honey. I don't have to explain myself. You do. Oh, gosh, John! God. You lied to me about your infertility. What infertility? Oh, you don't have to present. I've seen the papers. Mom's friend married it. She was kind enough to share them with me. You're drunk, John. This is all nonsense. Yes. I agree with you on that. All these years. I've been in love with a girl who turned out to be a liar. It's nonsense. There must be some mistake. Yes. Our marriage was one big mistake. I... I can't trust you anymore. John... It's over. It's over.
Get out. Why? Get out! Okay. <clears throat> so, <laughs> my boys. Well. So sorry, honey. I mean, I wish I could help you, but it was all John's decision. There is nothing I could have done. I just don't understand how it happened. It's not my fault. I know, but it happened. So there's no point in crying now. Let's get you out of here before John gets home and the whole scandal starts. <laughs> Dawson. I'm sorry. I'm just so thankful for everything you've done for me. That's okay, dear. I'll wait for you downstairs. Okay. <laughs> First, let me figure out what the hell is going on here. What are you still doing here? You were supposed to be gone by now. I have some unfinished business to take care of. This is John. Meredith! Hello. What are you doing here? What do you mean? You're the one who texted me. I didn't text you. No. It was me. Oh. Uh, Meredith, sorry, but I think you better go. Go straight to the police. What? Virgin medical records is against the law. Where did this nonsense about my infertility come from? But, uh, I didn't mean to, I thought, I thought, uh, it was a joke. It was just a joke. <laughs> Do you think it's funny to write down a serious diagnosis and put a stamp on it? Uh, but, um, didn't you tell me that it was a prank? Of course it was a prank! <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do this? Because I want grandchildren. Please. And for three years you haven't been able to provide me with one. So maybe it's to do with him? Oh, don't you dare. My son is a healthy boy. It's you. And now he needs a new wife. Well, I'm enough. Maybe I can decide what I need. Honey, you weren't supposed Don't. to hear all that. You know, I only want what's best for you. You all make me sick. Ugh. Let go. I'm actually sick. John, please understand. I was only thinking about your well-being. You almost destroyed my life with your own hands. It's been years and still she hasn't been able to conceive. There must be something wrong with her. No, there must be something wrong with you, Mom. Me? Yeah, it, you know, I think it's, it's time to pack your stuff. What? It's time for you to move out and pray to God that Alice forgive you for your cruelty and me for my stupidity. I can't be mad of you. Oh, honey, thank you. I want to, but I can't for medical reasons. What do you mean? I'm pregnant. <gasps> no way. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Don't swear in front of the baby. Can I stay now? No. Mom, you, you're moving out anyway. But... If you go in to behave and stay out of people's business, we'll let you babysit your grandchild. <laughs>